In this video, we're going to look at how you can use user input to return a dictionary value. So as you can see, I've already started it. And what we're going to be doing is asking the user to input a color. That color will be set to a variable called color. Then what we'll do is we'll print the response. So if we just run that, run in terminal, what color you can see at the bottom of the screen. So let's say red, you chose red. So it knows what the users put in. Next, we'll make a dictionary. So the dictionary is called colors with an S. And in that I've put red equals scarlet, green equals emerald, blue equals navy, gray equals charcoal. I've just put double quotes around the values and single quotes around the keys. Probably not textbook uh, style, but for readability, I've done it that way. Okay, so next, what we want to do is actually print the user input color equals the key of the dictionary. So if they type in red, that matches the key. If they type in green, then color matches the key. Blue match key, gray match key. So then what it will do is it will just print, you chose, and then colors. So colors is a dictionary. And then the square brackets is just saying, what it's really doing is it's matching where one of its keys, it's returning the value where one of its keys matches the variable that the user put in. So let's just demonstrate it. And here we go, what color? So let's go for green. And there you go, you chose emerald. We run it once more. What color? Blue. You chose navy. So there we go. That's how you can use. So there's no if, then, else. There's no logic, conditional logic there. All it's doing is using a dictionary to match a variable. So it's a very good way to keep your code neat.